From high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland, this is BSN Headline News. Today's top story is Bon Secours announces its latest ACO in eastern Kentucky. As you know, Accountable Care Organizations, or ACOs, are an assembly of coordinated health providers that come together to provide care for a group of patients. Additionally, ACOs utilize a payment and care delivery model that ties provider reimbursements to both the quality of care and reductions in the total costs of care. Bon Secours Our Lady of Belfont Hospital has now partnered with Highlands Regional Medical Center and St. Clair Regional Medical Center to form the Eastern Kentucky Healthcare Coalition. The coalition's stated mission is to develop a clinically integrated network of healthcare providers to enhance the health status of our communities in an accountable and responsible manner. Indeed, in the coalition, each facility will maintain its autonomy while working together on select projects that provide collective efficiencies for the hospitals, projects like vendor contracts. The coalition will also work together to improve patient access through coordinated health events while eliminating duplication of efforts. And this coalition will prepare for the reforms of the Accountable Care Act in addition to other possibilities for integration. It's a win-win-win. According to Our Lady of Belfont Hospital CEO Kevin Halter, the three facilities that have come together to form the Eastern Kentucky Healthcare Coalition have much in common. We are not competitors, but we share similarities in size and the populations we serve. That we would come together to work on ways that we might be able to meet the future needs of patients is vital for the overall health of our region. Jim Fuzzy has been selected to serve as the Eastern Kentucky Healthcare Coalition's Executive Director. Mr. Fuzzy is Vice President of Belfont Physicians Services and is a member of Our Lady of Belfont Hospital's administrative team. As a coalition, Highlands Regional Medical Center, Our Lady of Belfont Hospital, and St. Clair Regional Medical Center have 529 patient care beds and more than 2,800 employees with nearly 500 practicing physicians. Please join us in celebration of Bon Secours' latest accountable care organization, the Eastern Kentucky Healthcare Coalition. Building partnerships for population health and advancing our commitment to build healthy communities. In other news, improving health locally is indeed part of Bon Secours' strategic quality plan, but did you know that we are equally committed to improving health globally? Well, it's true, and recently we had an opportunity to sit down with Camille Grippen, Director of Ecology and Global Ministries, to talk a little bit about the global ministry aspect of her work. My name is Camille Grippen, and I'm the Director of Ecology and Global Ministries, and my responsibilities are to lead system-wide uh, activities for both ecological stewardship and international outreach. So Global Ministries uh, basically deals with international outreach. So we have ministries in, in Haiti, in South Africa, and in Peru. I guess you could, you could think about our work uh, both as maternal and child health and HIV and AIDS. So most of our work in, in HIV and AIDS is, is going to be in South Africa. Our work in maternal and child health is both in Peru and in Haiti. So I've been with Bonsecour for eight months, mm -hmm. and uh, there's been a lot going on in the last eight months. Um, on the global ministry side, um, as I mentioned, there's a lot of activities going on in Peru, so, so most of my energy has been dedicated there. We have a clinic that we're expanding in Trujillo. There's also the uh, child survival program that's coming to an end. The sisters also have a micro business that, um, that we work with. And on the U.S. front, I'm, I'm obviously working with CHA just to get the word out of what we're doing. Um, so I sit on different, different committees with them. In Haiti, it's been a, a matter of just building collaboration with Richmond, and, and there's a lot of work, uh, great work that's going out of, uh, going out of Richmond in terms of um, supporting Haiti and the different efforts that they're doing. And in South Africa, has been also building the rapport with the sisters. I see a lot of potential of what we can do globally. I see ourselves as being able to really maximize 
uh, the impact that we have in the community. I really see us consolidating our work to be able to, to, to voice, we are helping mothers and children. Mm -hmm. How do we do that? Partnerships. Mm -hmm. Partnerships. We need, we need partnerships. We need to partner with local officials. We need to raise awareness here of what we're doing. I think in partnerships is, is the future, definitely. The charism of Bon Secours is to bring God's healing, compassion, and liberation to people in need. Bon Secours' strategic quality plan to build healthy communities includes our global community, and that includes our friends in Peru, Haiti, and South Africa. We just thought you should know that. Finally, last week we told you about Bon Secours Memorial College of Nursing's online RN to BSN degree program. And because that program is available online, Bon Secours is reaching out to all Bon Secours RNs who might be interested in getting a BSN degree. Well, to get a little more insight on what that means to a nurse, we found a nurse who went through the program to get her perspective on what that experience was like. My name is Angie Gallant. I have a family. I'm married with three children. I have a 15-year-old, a 12-year-old, and an 8-year-old. With the BSN program at Bon Secure, I was able to work at home, online system. I could schedule my work schedule around school schedule and have plenty of time with my family. I heard about the Bon Secure uh, bachelor's program when I was in the diploma program. They had just started talking about it and they were starting a, a campaign to let everybody know that they were going to be rolling it out and I was just waiting for them to come out with it after I had graduated. At this point in my life I wanted to learn a little bit more about leadership, about um, the research that goes into the evidence-based practice in nursing and I wanted to better myself and get more self-confidence in my knowledge. I tell my coworkers how I enjoyed the program, how easy it was to schedule my, my life around it. Um, I have actually spoke to quite a few of my coworkers because I try to motivate them, you know, go get your BSN, get it and get it done. Um, because a lot of the hospitals these days are looking for that. The BSN program definitely prepares you for the next step. It gains you the experience um, with the online program by educating you on the different philosophies in nursing. It gives you the evidence support for the nursing processes that we use. And it shows you how to find the answers to questions you have when you're working the floor to support why you're doing what you're doing for the patient. I love every minute of it. It was the best decision I have ever made. Now, you may not know it, but Bon Secours Memorial College of Nursing is offering a 20% discount off their tuition for any Bon Secours employee, and that is completely separate from any tuition reimbursement Bon Secours employees may be eligible for. But more on that next week when we talk to the Dean of Student Services. Bon Secours Memorial College of Nursing, helping to liberate our people's potential by offering an excellent growth opportunity. By the way, growth is one of our values. Well, that's it for this week. Stay tuned to this portal for future up-to-the-minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. I'm Dave Schlachter. Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bomb Secure Productions and is solely responsible for its content.